Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I am glad to see you. If you guys are looking for the one place on YouTube that will tell you step by step how they made money in the crypto market, then you should be subscribed. Like this video and get those bell notifications on. We are not messing around here at Kif's Crypto. We are trying to get all of you ready and prepared in time for the next crypto bull run. So, without further ado, You guys know how much I love play to earn gaming. It is my honest belief it's one of the strongest use cases for cryptocurrency as a whole. It is a gamer's dream to earn a living from just playing their favorite game. And when I personally see someone's dream coming true, I just choke up a little thinking about the great capitalist society we live in and the insane financial opportunity of granting people their dreams. It's beautiful. It's true though, when there comes the birth of a new asset class, we enter a phase that we in the biz like to call the Wild West. And play to earn gaming is currently in the Wild West. The Wild West presents us with a monstrous amount of products, all promising us the world, or in this case, the virtual world. And most of them will get their moment in the spotlight, their chance to show us that they can do a 10x too, but very, 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 very few of them will last more than a month. Especially not a year and definitely not a decade. But let me tell you, right now, if somehow we find a project within this next couple of years, invest into it, and said project is thriving in a decade's time, we will be rolling in it. So what does that mean? What lengths do we need to go to? What do we need to do to find the Amazon of the blockchain gaming world? Give every single thing we see its due diligence. Rule nothing out and hunt for that needle in the haystack. So on today's episode of Diddy's Gem Hunters, Name still in progress. I am going to take you through my thought process whilst I'm looking into an extremely early project that may or may not have that good, good long-term potential. So let's get right into it. Today I have two projects. I know, I do spoil you guys, but the two are interlinked. As all true gems are found, I stumbled across one and then dug even deeper to stumble across the other. So before we get onto the main project I want to show you, let me first give you some context for my thought process by presenting you to NGG. Next Gaming Guild is a group that's aspiring to onboard the next generation of gamers into the play to earn space through education and scholarship programs. Your scholarships are very much what it says on the tin. It's a way of removing the current barrier to entry for play to earn games, needing the capital to start. A lot of people interested in play to earn don't actually have the funds to even get started. So NGG is helping with that by providing gamers with the funds to get started in a play to earn game. They're also doing their bit to assist brand new game studios getting their products up and running by providing them with support in form of knowledge or even groups of players to test the games out during development. Finding NGG and seeing how great their team looked got me thinking. What games and what studios are they currently supporting? And then digging a little deeper, I found the project I'm going to be talking about today. NGG's latest partner. Infinite Arcade, right? Love the name. You've got me already. Take my money. There is an existing problem in most play to earn games that consistently tests my loyalty to the entire market. And that is that 99% of the games are just atrocious. I do subscribe to the mentality that the blockchain games market is new and that everything is in pre-alpha development stage, but boy oh boy, would I love to fast forward to the point where blockchain games are at AAA game quality. That is the issue that I think Infinite Arcade has the potential to solve. Rather than creating a fresh game from the ground up, Infinite Arcade appears to be creating a framework that allows for pre-existing games to be turned into play to earn games. This idea intrigues me and I'll tell you for why. Infinite Arcade aims to transform these pre-existing games into blockchain play to earn games through the integration of one, their software development kit, 
two, their NFTs, and three, their native TIC token. So you see why I'm intrigued? No? Let me explain. Let's envision a real arcade. You have the grabber machines, racing games, shooters, dance dance revolution, and winning any of them will win you tickets. All those arcade games are made by separate games companies, but they all pay you in tickets that you can exchange at the arcade you are in. So, from what I gather, Infinite Arcade is looking to become some sort of universal token that creates a shared economy amongst play to earn games. So, every games company, rather than having to spend huge amounts of money on adopting play to earn mechanics into their game, can simply integrate the Infinite Arcade and players are rewarded with the Infinite Arcade token. It's very similar to companies putting an arcade machine into an arcade, except this arcade is digital. Hence, Infinite Arcade. I feel like I just reeled off an analogy to you guys that was obvious from the name of the project. Ah, you guys love an analogy anyway. Now we go deeper and I'll tell you why I think all of this is important. So if you watched my last video, then you would know that... You've watched my last video, right? You would know that when I'm looking into a new project, a question I ask is, does it solve anything the existing projects need to improve on? So does Infinite Arcade solve anything the existing projects need to improve on? Yes. A lot of play to earn games currently floating about the market require extensive amounts of hours and grinding to be poured into them just to start seeing any sort of returns, which really takes the fun out of a game if you have to play it. I don't know about you guys, but if I have to do something, I suddenly don't want to do it anymore. This really defeats the purpose of being a play to earn game. The structure Infinite Arcade adopts by having a plethora of casual games that reward you based on level completion rather than how many hours you can pour into it or how many tokens you can stake brings the fun back into gaming. And if you get bored of one game, you can just go and play another to earn your tokens. So you never feel forced to play something. I'll reiterate, if I feel forced to play something, the fun is gone. I may as well go back and work at McDonald's. If they'll have me. In my opinion, this feeling of play to earn games not really being games is far too abundant in play to earn gaming. And I think Infinite Arcade has identified that and has begun crafting a solution for it. So, let's tick that box for Infinite Arcade. Well done. Whilst the vision is great, we do also need to ask, are they actually able to achieve what they are proposing? As always, we look over the team and on inspection, they do in fact seem to have an extensive and qualified team, all doxxed, all fully revealing their identities, win. Also, looking into their partners, I found that they are partnered with Coda, so, if we put two and two together here, Coda has a network of over 15,000 studios, and some of those studios have already agreed to put their content onto the Infinite Arcade platform. What happens further down the line of development if Infinite Arcade starts gaining some traction and they've already found huge connections within this huge network? I don't know, but it could lead to something huge. I am purely speculating here on what could happen in the future. But one rule of Diddy's gem trackers is you have to ask what if questions. Because whilst we cannot predict the future, we can definitely consider the possibilities with the information we already have on hand. Now, let's speak fairly here. I love the vision for Infinite Arcade, however, it is very early days for the project. I'll establish that nothing I say on this channel should be even remotely construed as financial advice. The purpose of me talking you through these projects is not a call to action to buy into them. The purpose is to give you guys a glimpse of my thought process when analyzing an upcoming project and to make sure that you guys have all the same research opportunities for potential gems as I do when I find them. Speaking on that, Infinite Arcade do already have some playable games that you can go and check out now. Now let's be honest, they aren't the most exciting array of games. 
Back to what we were saying about it being very early days in development. I've also heard through the grapevine that Infinite Arcade may be making an announcement over the next few days, so it might be a good idea to have a certain amount of play around with some of their games. Announcement may have something to do with NFTs but you did not hear any of this from me. I hope this has given you all an insight into the process of how I analyze an upcoming project. However, I really do need you guys to remember that this project is very early on. And as of right now, I don't know if even I will be buying anything from the project just yet. I'm only showing this to you guys because I thought it had a really cool concept. So now you can go away and research for yourself. All of my videos are not cool to buy, they are calls to research. But that is all we have time for today. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you guys aren't following the Kiff's Crypto TikTok by now, then what are you doing? It could take me a couple of days to create a video for YouTube, but it could take me just a couple of minutes to create a video for TikTok. So if I have any urgent info, then I'll be uploading it to TikTok. So you need to make sure you're following. You also need to make sure you've liked this video and you need to make sure you subscribe. Hit those bell notifications and I will see you next video on Diddy's Gem Spotters.